YouTube, what's going on guys? My name is Jaden Paradox Customs. I bring you guys a quick video reviewing the latest installment of High Ground Keyboards. Now we've worked with High Ground for a little bit here on different celebrity rigs and stuff like that. They've always been super gracious to us, sending us the latest keyboards for different celebrities and people we work with. We kind of thought it was time to get our hands on the product ourselves and see what they were all about. So reached out to High Ground and they were gracious enough to send us three different boards, one for myself, one for Gray, and one for the paradox warehouse team which is currently residing i believe in our ceo's office so they sent us two lava rocks and one other model i'm not exactly sure on the name of it and they said kind of go to town make some content enjoy it keep it and we are super super grateful so just want to preface this video by saying these were sent to us but this is not a paid or sponsored video so again thank you so much to high ground let's hop right into this review starting with the box and the branding man i gotta say i was very very impressed with when i received this box in the mail it's not very often that a box of a brand can i guess kind of catch me off guard and it just it's it's a very detailed and organized box as you guys can see here switch that and uh there's just a lot of detail you can't really look at any aspect of the box without seeing some sort of branding qr code social media icons anything like that and it definitely pops out very very much and they also go as far as to give you some instructions on the back of the box as to what exactly you're getting and how everything is kind of going to be presented to you which is super super dope and super super helpful for maybe somebody who's newer to the gaming scene or newer to keyboard or mouse not really sure you know how to take out their switches how to take out their keycaps stuff like that they give you a lot of different customizable options with this which is super super cool now it is worth noting that i've been playing with this keyboard for about a week now because i didn't want to give a review without actually trying it so i've been playing a lot of valorant a lot of apex legends and a lot of rust with this keyboard and it was a little bit of an adaptment from my old logitech g pro i don't have it on my desk actually but i was using a logitech wired g pro for the longest time and i really really like that keyboard i love the switches i love the feel so it was kind of hard for me to adapt at first but i am I'm actually very very happy i've done so the only thing i'm missing on this keyboard compared to the other one was a numpad but obviously when you're purchasing this keyboard you're going to know that it's a 60 percent it's a mini keyboard that's just something you got to keep in mind just a quick caveat there it's actually a 65 percent keyboard as it does have the row numbers so there's that there um and it's actually a very very interesting keyboard because it actually rocks the white flame switches which i guess is let me just read up here to confirm yeah it is a key switch that is designed by high ground and ttc they co-design the switches and they're very soft they're not very clicky but they actually do feel very nice you have you definitely feel every click you hit so it's, it's kind of an adjustment but i actually don't hate the switches which i thought i was gonna when i first started using it so it's super super cool that they have their own switches in there and they also have obviously as you guys can see on the box here the option to remove the switches using some of their tools which is super cool now for those of you who are really into customizing your keyboard and you kind of don't make maybe like the feel of the board you want to do switches something like that they actually provide you with a bunch of options starting with obviously this little keycap puller you just go in pop your keycaps out super super simple you do it really easily and you don't make any damage to the keyboard and it's honestly a very simple process and i really like how they include this with the board but they also go above and beyond provide you with a switch puller so if you don't like these white flame switches that they provide in the new board you can go ahead and pull these out and add your own switches which i believe they also provide on their website which is super super cool they have different options on their own site now a big knock on high ground wasn't the quality of their keyboards but the fact that they're just so hard to get their hands on especially after working with hundred thieves and other brands like that and this keyboard is actually part of their always available drop in the base camp 65 series so this keyboard is available right now on their site it's not going to sell out they have a bunch of different colorways and different topography options and it's super, super cool that they went ahead and went above and beyond and had some options where things aren't going to sell out instantly and people aren't going to miss out like some of their other favorite brands. So I think that's a really, really cool first step in making sure that the keyboards become kind of commonplace in the scene and they don't just kind of disappear and they're not very hard and exclusive to get. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get them. This keyboard is actually coming in at 135 USD, which is not a bad price for a keyboard like this after shipping and all that it's probably going to get up there to 160 170 maybe depending on where you live but i think for that price for a keyboard like this 65 percent that's going to last you long it has that kind of exclusive price tag even though it's an always available board it's really really good and fair pricing and you can't ask for too much more all right so here we are in a valorant warm-up session and as you guys can see off rip using the new keyboard everything feels super super smooth on my end of things i'm a big fan of the way these are clicking which again, I wasn't sure I would be, so I'm super, super satisfied with that. And one thing that I did instantly notice on this keyboard, and maybe I just didn't realize it on my old keyboard, but it was sliding a lot. 
not this one my g pro but now that i use this it's actually kind of hard to slide across my desk or if i'm using it and i want to readjust it it kind of has some pull there which i'm not used to i'm used to a really slidey keyboard which is actually kind of a nice change of pace i actually really like that i don't have to keep readjusting my keyboard because once it's in a place i like and it's like that and comfortable i'm good to go so that's super cool and then as i mentioned you guys can see here they have these little sticky points where you're not really going to be sliding around all that much now obviously with the keyboard there's not too much you can kind of test i honestly don't think a keyboard is going to make or break anybody's gameplay however if you're feeling that you need a change in pace you want something with a little bit more comfortability something like that then i definitely think upgrading keyboards isn't a bad option obviously i think this keyboard really just excels in completely changing the aesthetic of my desk i really like the way it looks on my desk it presents nicely next to my mouse pad and next to my white g pro which is super super nice and honestly i i have zero complaints about the actual product or quality and obviously love the support team over there love everybody i've worked with the high grounds so i have nothing but good things to say about those guys either i've been playing keyboard and mouse games for about 12 years now i played a lot of counter-strike when i was growing up now kind of transitioning into valorant apex stuff like that and uh I can honestly say I've never been a big advocate on switching keyboards too, too often. However, when comparing this one to my G Pro, I honestly don't think I feel like I want to go back, which is super, super cool. My G Pro is a really, really, really dope keyboard. It lasted me a long time, and I honestly would definitely recommend that keyboard, especially at its price point for a lot of people starting out or a lot of people in the market for a new board. But someone looking for a 65% like this, I honestly don't think you can go wrong with the high ground. I've tried some other companies that I won't name where I wasn't necessarily a fan of the product or the quality i had keycaps popping out stuff like that and i definitely just didn't feel like i i got a keyboard that was worth the amount of money i spent which was much more than how much high ground is offering their board and it didn't last nearly as long as i expect this keyboard to last obviously it's only been a week and you never really know but from everything i've read these keyboards have a very very long shelf life and there's not really a bunch of problems that happen later on in its life cycle which is super cool once again, I just wanted to give a quick thank you to Highgraph for sending us these boards. If you guys are in the market for a new 65% keyboard and you want to switch it up, I definitely do recommend Highground. The week I've been using it has been absolutely spectacular. It's been super comfortable, super durable, and it just feels like a really well-made product, which I really, really like. Thank you again to Highground. Again, this is not a sponsored video, even though it might sound like it. I just do really like the team over there and their products, and I don't think you can go wrong with this Basecamp series board. So it's going to be all for me. If you guys enjoyed, please do not leave without leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.